Hi YouTube, this is Jen. Today is February 5th, and I believe it's day 35 of Project 365. And um, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to talk about. But I have a lot of things like floating around in my head, so um, yeah. Um, this weekend, I'm not a big sports buff. Brian will tell you that. I am not a big sports buff. But, um, we're going to be watching the Super Bowl this weekend. Um, I am not into football at all. I probably won't be paying much attention to it. But, um, we're going to go shopping to, uh, make some special snacks, so that's what I'm excited about, is, um, uh, the food. We're going to make some special food. Um, I get a recipe in my 1000 Vegan Recipes book for a, uh, vegan cheese ball. I've never attempted to make a cheese ball before, vegan or otherwise, so this should be interesting. I have to look at the recipe again and see what I what uh, we'll need to get to make it, but I'm going to try it, and I will let you know how it goes, and I will probably post pictures or a video of the cheese ball when it's done. <laughs> um, and tomorrow... Saturday night is the beginning of NASCAR season. I do like NASCAR. I do like watching NASCAR. And that's probably like the only sport that I'm really kind of into is NASCAR. I will yell at the TV like the guys and I will get mad when someone causes my driver to crash because of course it's never Biffle's fault. Never, ever, ever, ever is it Biffle's fault. In my eyes, it's never Biffle's fault when he crashes. But, um, last season, Biffle was a victim of bad luck a lot. Like, in the wrong place at the wrong time. And most of the time, it was not his fault when he got thrown off the track. Biffle is my driver because um, I asked Brandon when we went, uh, well, it was over a year ago. It was not this, not this past September, but the September before that, we went to... Uh, Loudon, yeah, Loudon, for uh, the first race at the Chase, and I asked Brandon because I knew nothing about NASCAR at the time. I really didn't, I hadn't gotten into it yet. I didn't know anything about NASCAR. I hadn't picked a driver yet to root for. I asked him, "Who would I like?" And he said, "Well, you probably like Greg Biffle because every year he puts out a calendar for animals." So I said, okay. I didn't know what he looked like. Didn't know his car number or anything. I asked him, what's his car number? What's his car look like? And all that. And he told me he's number 16 and usually drives a white, yellow, and uh, red car. So I picked him. I said, okay, I'm rooting for Biffle. Wouldn't you know, my first ever live NASCAR race, what happens? Biffle wins. I was so excited. I mean, you would not think a girl like me who has almost zero interest in sports would have got so excited. I was like, yay, he won. I was so happy. And then he won the second race of that season. Of that, uh, the cup, the cup season. And I was so super excited. I was like, oh my gosh, my guy's doing good. But, um, he didn't win. He didn't win the cup. 
I think he came in like third or something that year. But that's okay. Because I was happy. I picked my guy. Um, I haven't bought a calendar for this year yet. Enough, the NASCAR pets calendar yet. But um, if you like NASCAR or you know someone who likes NASCAR and or you love animals, you should get um, his calendar. It includes NASCAR drivers and their families and their pets. Um, I don't have one for this year, though. But, yeah. I'm excited about that. I'm probably going to do my nails and my makeup for the Super Bowl. And, um... Or NASCAR theme. I'm not sure. Because I don't want to have to redo them. I don't want to have to redo them for the Super Bowl. If I do them for tomorrow, for NASCAR, I don't want to have to redo them for the Super Bowl. So, I'll probably do them for the Super Bowl. And later on in the NASCAR season, I'll do my NASCAR nails. Because I got some decals I got on eBay that have uh, the 16 for Biffle. I want to use later this year because I never got around to using them last year. I don't know if we're going to be going to um, race this year or not, but it was fun. It was a lot of fun. But, uh... Oh, funny story about um, Super Bowl. About, about uh, Super Bowl. Brandon and I have this theory that my cat Blade can predict can predict the Super Bowl. It's stupid. It's silly. He has a 50-50 chance of getting it right. Anyway, right? La but we basically, we ask Blade, we say, Blade, and we tell him the name of the team. And we ask him, what he thinks? And judging by his body language, his reaction to what we say... We determine which team he picks. And um, if he has a positive reaction, we say, okay, that's that's the team he picked. And if he has a negative reaction, we say, oh, he doesn't like that team. Last year, Blade correctly picked the Super Bowl winner. We asked him what he thought. And uh, he was, like, all purring and rubbing on us when we said Steelers. And the Steelers won last year. So we asked him this year, and uh, Blade thinks the Saints are going to win. But we asked him, and he was purring and rubbing all over me and licking my hand when I asked him. I was like, Blade, what do you think about the Saints? And he was all like, <sighs> licking my hand. So <laughs> I think Blade thinks the Saints are going to win. Plus, I have family from Louisiana, so, and Brandon picks the Saints, so I kind of got a root for the Saints. We asked him what he thought of the cult. He looked away, then he walked off. So, yeah. My cat supposedly can predict the Super Bowl, which is good, because we joke that he's kind of the one that's not that bright, so, um... Maybe he's the stereotypical dumb jock. I don't think all jocks are stupid. So I don't think all people that are interested in sports are dumber either. Either, But we joke that Blade's not the bright one. But apparently he knows sports. So, um, yeah. If your cat or pet has a crazy talent or um, whatever, let me know. Leave a comment or a video response. And, uh, tell me if you have any sports you're interested in. Are you into football? Are you into the Super Bowl? Are you in, into NASCAR? Are you being, um, drug into sports by your boyfriend or family? Let me know. Leave a comment or a video response. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.